from everywhere today. It's a glorious day after the heavy rain and floods we've been having everywhere. Right, here we go. We've actually finally decided which way to go. We're not going up there, which is the Trent and Mersey, which is the way we were going to go. Going down the Staffs and Worcester. Sort of onto New Canal because we've been just down to Tixall Wide before, but hoping to go a little bit further today. It's been great hanging around this this area. Highly recommend Great Haywood. Brilliant there for all your services. Really helpful at Anglo Welsh here. Got some coal from here. Good price. Gas, diesel, kindling. We've had everything. So yeah, highly recommend. Right, off we go. Exciting times. Even more now, look, than when we came through yesterday. Wish you over the other side. Just waited then, because going through a tight bit, look, so Chris was just checking. So this is the aqueduct over the River Trent lot. They up look, the um, bridge wardens are out, ready to collect the toll. Let's see what they're up to. Are you the ones that were pecking on my window? Is it you? Okay, look. Morning. Well, just about morning. I think it's about half eleven on a Sunday, and we are cruising down the Staffs and Worcester Canal. I would have already said in the other video that we finally made a decision. We're going to cruise down here. We're just going past um, Tixall Wide. Look. beautiful area and we've, we've walked down this bit that we're going to but we've um, we've not cruised down it so new waters again for us I will have put on probably before this or, or maybe I'll pop on after the murmuration that we saw while we were moored up here absolutely amazing I was sat there and I kept thinking um, why it kept going dark outside it was like a boat was passing but there's no boat and then we heard this noise and then we realised it was the uh, starlings which were sweeping over the boat. Amazing. Right, that's it from me. I will see you probably at the first lock of the day. See you in a bit. It's a um, busy old morning here at uh, Tixall Lock. Got a um, traffic jam. There's been... Um, Three boats waiting, including ours, and boats coming down the other way. Hello. I didn't get a um, chance to show much of the Tixel lock because it was just was so busy. There's so many boats going up and down, which is nice because it means you get help at the lock and you can obviously have a bit of a natter. But it must have taken us... Know, maybe 40 45 minutes to get through with all the other boats going through so we're now just cruising down to find our mooring as i said earlier we're going to try and get somewhere near the shopping area because we need aldi and some bits from bq and then possibly tomorrow we will carry on cruising up the staff and worcester canal I can see why people decide to winter down this way though because you, at this stretch you haven't got many locks but also you've got you know the dream armco pretty much everywhere for mooring and this canal path isn't too bad but the uh, other one up near Tixall lock and beyond is is brilliant someone told me that hs2 apparently paid for that to be done so it's 
probably one thing they've done right out of the whole thing. Right, I'm going to get off the soapbox and I'll see you when we're more up. See you later. Oh, you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on here. This train's just gone past. There's another one. Just make sure we don't uh, moor next to that. I'm just going to show you this river that's. Um, oh, anything in the way. It's burst its banks, but we've gone past it now. Very good camera woman, am I? train line bridge or something like that. You can see that just inside there. We've got the big new one that's been built. You see that just be through the trees. It definitely feels um, like winter's coming on here. Very, very muddy towpaths. You wouldn't fancy wandering down there. All these areas in here are all flooded, look. I imagine they're like that all the time. Right, we're all moored up. You can just see the plot through the trees. And we're off out foraging to Aldi, I think it is down here. See what we can get. Oh, look there she is looking good right Let's see how long it takes to get here um, just come over the bridge look at this look how flooded that is it's like a park up there got Aldi just over there look at this looks like a an estuary crazy see what can we see through the woods into a bit more of a rural area so you know filled up on essentials now we're going to cruise down to somewhere near Penkridge I think it's called and try and get a mooring down that way because that's also got the boat services which we'll need at some point as you do every few days yeah so looking forward to a nice cruise Supposed to be um, 
supposed to be raining tomorrow so we thought we'd get an afternoon cruising while we can and the weather's nice. We've got possibly a few locks to do today I need to have a look at the map and see how many. So I shall see you at the next lock. Really flooded down here, I'll try and get some photos for you. But it's like an estuary rather than a little river. Right, see you there. Dog's having a good time down there, look. He's rolling in the mud. So this is Radford Meadows. It says all rivers lead to Retford. Ratford, <laughs> not Retford. So I'm not surprised it's flooded then if uh, all rivers lead to it. No, did it say Stratford? Don't know what I'm on about, do I? <laughs> Chris said I should just switch it off. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't know there then, is it? Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Right, I'm going to switch it off now. Nice looking. Oh, Chris is just peering around the bridge. Nice looking marina there. Lovely place. Just going under bridge. Hayes, Hazel Strine Bridge from the 96. Very muddy towpath, look. You don't want to be moored along here for a long stretch of time. We're coming right out into these fields, look now. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful countryside. Really does feel like we're heading into winter now, though. starting to change, it's getting colder, although it looks nice down here doesn't it, with all the green in it, greenery, none of these um, leaves are falling. Widens up uh, quite a bit on here, so we're coming up to an aqueduct and then the next lock which is hold on my map. you look at the views I'll look at my map depth more lock which is 10 foot 3 so it's quite a big one yeah. quite a big lock that one so we'll go and have a look and see what's happening where all these it's nearly um, let me zoom out little bit more water in there look and they uh, be spilling out the canal look at this beauty big lock this one if it's set in our favour or not because another boat did come through another boat coming better stop filming there right so we've just gone through Acton Bridge and no it's uh, bridge number 91 just after then that the lock is we've just done 93 sorry we're just having a convo about where we are so we've just done past bridge 93. As I've said, just said to Chris at 91, just past there is the next lock to do. Starting to get a little bit windy, a bit colder. Very low here. Well, I don't know what the normal level is, level is here, but considering we've got so many floods everywhere, I think we could probably top this canal up a little bit. Thrones. 
family all live up north so it always has a nice feeling when you're going north although southerners live up in the north so it's very nice around here right, i've got to go under a bridge to get to this lock Shut Hill Lock I think it's called There we go Oh it's spooky Can't radio Chris because I think we need to put some new batteries in it So I'm going to go and check it out See what's happening Any other boat has come in. Oh, this is nice. Right then, I'll let the water out first. I have to put you down so I can concentrate. Ooh, this is Shut Hill Lock. A beautiful area. I think we might end up mooring up somewhere near here. I mean, there's a road here, but it doesn't look. I think there's someone coming past now. Not too busy though. Very nice. Right, let's see if this gate's open. I keep meaning to take the um, hose off there, so I hope it's not going to hit the gate. I don't think it will. Let's see. Ooh, no, it's cleared that all right. That's good. And she goes. Oh look, you can just see my nice silicon in on there. Ignore all the rust patches. One job at a time. Just um, come out of Shut Hill Lock up there, cruising down here. We just said it reminds us of the uh, Ashby Canal, this stretch, with the trees on both sides. We've not done the Ashby in on our boat, the plot, but we have done it in a uh, higher boat. But yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, you won't get any solar if you moored up down this way but yeah it's beautiful even though they sort of a stone throw really from the M6 which you can hear in the background I feel quite remote down here really it's like a different world being on the canals sometimes which is a guess why we do it Park gate lock. Just waiting for Chris to come in. So boat yard in Chandlery here, but I don't think we need anything because we've stopped up. It's quite handy if you're coming up this way though. All the bits and bobs that you need. I'm getting tired now. Ready for me uh Afternoon power nap seems to need nowadays. 
become a middle-aged napper. There he is. Let's have a look. You can see him. Kate, something then. It's quite lucky at the last lock, um, just filled up, and then another boat came along. So we opened the gates and they cruised in. Works well for everybody. This is a nice um, wide bridge we're going under now. Not often like this, usually they taper in so you can just about fit a boat through. And then they have some weird angle on them as well, just to I think someone just put them in as a lap to uh, watch your crack. Yeah, that's beautiful. Tedersley Park Bridge. Very nice. Swing you around to the Three Lines Avenue. Right, we're about to go under the M6, which is the uh, road we used to travel on. We used to go up north from uh, when we lived in um, Derby. Sorry, there were some rude things on the bridge then. Honestly. Oh, it's dark. Massive hole there, is that like ventilation or something? I yeah. wonder if that's for water to come through from the motorway and drain off, perhaps. It's a bit grim. Cracks in the old. M600 here. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, someone's uh, someone's not got to their uh, top level of skill in the old graffiti number. There you go, let me swing you around. M6 motorway. Number 88A. Right, here we go. Onto another lock. I'm tired. Broom Bridge. This one's about 10 foot or something like that. And a bigger one on this stretch. Oh dear, look at the size of them steps. Get up them, I've only got little legs. And I can need a ladder going up this way. See what's happening. Right. Longford lock. So there's no no boats coming. So we shall go and open these up. Stop you there because if 
Can't do both. There you go. Little busy M6 up there. Just waiting for the uh, lock to empty. Almost feels like um, it's coming to dusk, doesn't it? Oh, look, we've got David Bailey over here, look, she's taking a photo or something. He's ignoring me now, look. Pretending he can't see me out. He's going in for another shot. Oh, this is a money shot, this is. I'll try and find out what it is and put it up. Oops. Oh, I think the lock gates are opening on their own. The job for me. I'm not paying attention, you see. Too busy watching what Chris is doing. Right then. See if they'll open. Oh, they're lovely. Nice and easy they are. Try not to let them bash. Right, I'll go around that one and open. Which way am I going to go? I'll go over the bridge. Give him a wave and tell him he can come in. him to watch signal thumbs up better run signals than I normally get screwing and here good jump across there but I won't to fall in you know I'm like clumsy yeah look at this oh no I'm not going to get this gate open yeah look how steep they are hang your head right then first load of ducks we've seen today Right, we're all moored up. Just um, just before Penkridge. I don't know if you can hear from there, the uh, M6. I was just going to show you where we've travelled today. So we were... Where are we? We were somewhere near here. So Meadow, Meadow Bridge there. So we've cruised all the way down here, Detmore Lock. That's the um, timer. So I've got the parsnips and carrots on for dinner. And then we came all the way down here through Acton Bridge. All the way down there, Shut Hill Lock, enjoyed doing that one. Park Gate Lock, under the M6, through Longford Lock, and then we've moored up just about here, near this school. And then tomorrow, possibly might go down through Penkridge Lock. Although we've got a really good um, signal here and I've got lots of editing to do so mm, might possibly stay here for a night and then I can get that done but that's it for tonight have to make get dinner finished and I'll see you next time